Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Janet and I run a Depop shop and also my own website called Primary Studios where I sell vintage and secondhand clothing. Today I am doing a closet clean out. I originally was going to do a thrift haul and like styling with me type video but um, I fell recently and it's not too serious but I'm resting today so I didn't want to have to try on a bunch of clothing. So let's just get started. I have some belts, scarves, tank tops, and graphic tees, or just regular t-shirts. This is my little belt holder that I got probably from like TJ Maxx or something. And I got this honestly probably eight years ago, but it is faux leather so it is peeling. I guess I'll just have to find like a real leather one to replace it. I will have to throw this one away. This is another full leather belt. I really like this one because I like the buckle. It's a square, it's very shiny in a silver color, but um, it's starting to get a little bit worn where the belt loops are. Maybe I can get a few more months out of this. I got this from YesStyle maybe like three or four years ago. It's about time. I wear this quite frequently too. It's my main belt. So these belts I'm keeping. This one is a basic brown one. This one is a D-ring belt. I really like this one because it matches with a lot of stuff. I have this vintage one I got from Salvation Army a long time ago. Keeping that. And this one is a recent pickup. It has this silver buckle and it has gold and silver, very bedazzled detailing. It's technically kind of like worn, but honestly, I just care about the front right here. Since this part looks good and you can't really see all the other like worn areas when I'm actually wearing the belt. I'm keeping it. This is another belt I'm deciding on whether I should keep or not. I got it from my dad because he doesn't wear it and it's a Burberry belt which is why I haven't gotten rid of it. It's quite worn. It's a little bit cracked so I'm not sure how salvageable this is. I will keep it for now and then decide later. And this belt I really like. I got it on a whim at I think like Salvation Army or something. The only issue with it is it doesn't really stay closed because it's supposed to be one of the belts you tie like this. I thought it would also be fun to wear it like this as a corset belt, but I think this one I'm gonna donate. So this is what I, I'm keeping from my belts. Next are scarves. I have this one. I think it's either like an Hermes or Max Mara dupe, but I got it from YesStyle like a few years ago. I don't shop on there as much anymore just because it's kind of overwhelming and I prefer to shop secondhand now, but this one is actually really good. Very cozy, looks really nice in photos as well, and it's very soft. And I also got this one. It's a basic like knitted one from, I think, Ugg. My grandma gave it to me, so I'm keeping this one. I thrifted this Burberry-esque scarf. I like this one. It's shorter and it's very soft, which is nice, so keeping that. And then I have this little like uh, handkerchief scarf has a lot of stripes and stuff on it. I usually don't wear scarves like this, but I just want to have one just in case I need it. And I also have this one. It is very similar to my other uh, gray knitted scarf. And this one is technically lower quality, but it is softer than my other Ugg one. So I'm keeping it. So none of them have been removed. But then again, I don't have that many scarves, so I think it's okay. There's one more thing for scarves. This is not really a scarf. I think it's called like a, a dicky. Um, pretty much like a little thing that you use to layer as kind of like a scarf and then you wear like a sweater or something on top of it. Purchased secondhand, but it's originally from H&M. Here are my tank tops. Um, these ones were actually just given to me by my mom. I'm gonna keep it because they're good basics to have. I think they'll be also useful for styling. And then just a basic black. Then I also have this um, white Frankie Shop one, keeping that. And then this one I wear all the time. It's uh, from a American Holic. I really like wearing this one. The next section is white t-shirts. Some of them with graphics, some of them without. This is a little like baby tee from J. Crew. It's a little bit of a longer length, so when you wear high-waisted pants, you don't really show any skin, which is what I prefer, so keeping that. Then we have this one. It's from the brand Gilly. I think I'll keep this one. And instead, I'm gonna get rid of this one, this one is by the brand Page. So this one is gonna go into the donate pile because it's still in good condition. And then I have this top I got from Savers. I got some makeup on the inside part right here. It's also a little bit short on me because like you can't really tuck this length in. So I think I'm gonna donate this one. Then I have this. I'm gonna donate this one because I just ended up never wearing it. 
that is going to the Dooney pile. And we have this. It's from Savers, but originally the brand is Ever Eve. It's very cute, so I'm gonna keep this one. I got this from TJ Maxx a while ago. I still like the graphics. I'm gonna keep this one. It has a bunch of like Japanese traditional art on it. Yeah, this one I got from a souvenir shop called Typographia. They also have a website. They have really cool graphic tees, and this one actually feels really nice. This is another tee I got when I was in my Yes style phase, but the graphic is just so cute that I'm keeping this one. Then we have this one. I got it from, I think some like pop-up shop. I'm keeping this one. It's very comfortable, more of like a lounging tee because I'm not really fond of how long it is on me, but it's still cute, so I'm keeping this one. And last one, I got this from Alicia Thrifts, who's also on YouTube. I, I have a Labrador, so I had to get it. I have two striped tees. I really liked it in the beginning, but now the neck is kind of getting warped. So I'm thinking of donating this one. It's still wearable, but it just kind of bothers me. This one I wear all the time. The, it was sewn incorrectly, so the stripes don't lay perfectly like horizontally. It's slightly tilted, um, which is not that obvious, but it bothers me a little bit. I will probably look for a replacement, but until then, I am keeping this. This one is from Uptown Cheapskate. It's a journey band tee. I'm still keeping this one. The neck is stretched out, but I like the color and it's a super comfy top. This one I got from Second Street. It says Soland, which is a, like a streetwear brand. I really like this. I accidentally washed it with denim and it got some stains on it. I'm still keeping it. I love this color combo, the bright red and then the bright blue. This one I got from Zara a long time ago and I love it so much. I've been trying to buy like a second version of it online, but all the people who are selling it like aren't responding to my offers or even when I buy it, it just doesn't go through. I try not to wear it as much so I can keep it for a longer period of time. This is from Cotton On from maybe like three years ago. It's very comfortable, so I use it as like a layering tee. This one I got when I went to Alien Jerky in Baker, California, which is on the way to Las Vegas. I am keeping this one. I like this graphic. I have this basic gray one from the thrift store. Keeping that is it's because it's a good basic. And this is my only Aritzia piece. It's from the group by Babaton line. So even though it's a $30 tee, I really felt like this one was worth it. And this one is like a really old bodysuit I got from Kohl's. I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, now we are on to blouses, button-ups, and dresses. First one is this cotton on, like oversized basic white button-up. I wear this quite a lot. Keeping that. And I have this one. I really wanted to keep this, and I actually got this pretty recently from Old Navy on sale, but it is just a little bit too big. This is something that I will probably be either selling or donating. Next one is this button down a striped one I got from Salvation Army. I wore this quite a lot last year and the year before. I don't wear it as much, but I think it's just because of the weather. I am probably gonna keep this, and if I don't wear it by the end of the year, then I'll donate it. Next item um, my mom gave to me. I haven't worn it yet, because I just like forgot that I had it. So I'm gonna wait until the end of this year to see if I wear it. This next one I'm going to donate is from the brand High Five. It's too short to be a dress and too long to be a tunic, you know? Next one is a basic button down. Um, I had this for a really long time and I've been keeping it like just in case I ever need to like interview or do anything like that. So I think I'm just gonna donate this one. This next piece is a silk button down I got from an estate sale. I don't wear it very much, but because it is a more basic piece, I think it would come in handy if I need an interview. I like would prefer this over the last white button down, so keeping this for now. Then this one is also something that I got as a hand-me-down. I'm going to put that in the donate pile. This next one I got from like a buy-sell trade place as well. It's from a collaboration between H&M and Jean Bast. Tista Valley. I honestly don't really have many occasions to wear it, but I think it's just a good piece to save for like if I'm invited to a wedding in the future or just need to dress up a little bit more. It's just so beautiful and I love the way that it moves. This next one I like, it's from Uptown Cheapskate and it's from the brand and other stories. I'm gonna wait until the summer. I wore this usually mostly during the summer and then see if I wear it then. If not, I will probably donate it. Next is a pink button down from Katana. This one. I don't wear as often and I think it's because of the length. It's just a little bit too long, but I do really like the color. So I'm gonna save it for summer, maybe try to crop it. And then if I don't wear it then, then I can donate it. Next one is a dress from Madeville. 
but it is a little short on me. Yeah, I think I have to donate this one. I just don't wear it because the length is just a little too awkward. This is a dress I got from ThreadUp and it's originally by the brand French Connection. It's a little bit too small for me, but I've been hanging onto it because I spent like $50 on it. It is too small, so I think I just got to get rid of it. Okay, next one is this really pretty like sage green slip dress. It's from the brand Lost April. This like satiny material is more delicate and I'm kind of rough with my clothes, but I think I will save it for maybe one more year. This next one I got secondhand as well from Second Street and I like it. It's from originally from Target. I think it's also a collaboration. It's from Who What Wear. It has like a very 70s or 60s pattern and it has a very drapey like asymmetric hem. Love this one. Always wear it. So gotta keep that. Well actually that makes me think I should donate this one because I can wear the other one as a wedding outfit. This will be donated. Okay, the next one is this cheetah print leopard dress from current air i like this one a lot but um i think i like the orange one more i think i'm gonna donate this one or i'm gonna sell this one this is a newer piece in my wardrobe it's from the brand annabelle it's a vintage like nightgown i got off poshmark honestly i got it because the seller sent a pretty good offer <laughs> and i just really like the style of it it is sheer enough where i probably need to get like a slip for it I need to figure out how to style it so once I figure out that, then I will decide if I should donate it or not. The next is something I wear all the time. It's just a basic black, very long, midi length, like a t-shirt dress from Old Navy. I just wear it because it's comfortable and when I'm feeling very lazy, it's a good piece to grab. This next one I showed in one of my thrift hauls, but it's just a good basic to have, like a black midi dress. Keeping that one because I think this one would layer really nicely with sweaters as well. This dress I've had for so long because I love the fit. It reminds me of the one of the first dresses Binju Kim designed on Next in Fashion on Netflix. And I just loved it because of that. It also kind of reminds me of a Korean hanbok because of the material that it's made out of. I never have an occasion to wear this because I'm not like, I don't go to parties. This is too short for a wedding. So um, I think I'm going to sell this one. It is so beautiful though. I wish I could keep it. It was originally from ThreadUp but the brand is Vestique in a size medium. This last one is from um, Thread Up as well. The brand is Aritzia and it's one of their slip dresses. I just love the color so much. It's like a very light silvery gray. So keeping this one. Yeah, I handmade this one and it's um, from the McCall's pattern. I don't remember the pattern number, but I'll insert it on the screen. Keeping, obviously. We are on to jackets. Jackets is my favorite category of clothing, and then maybe denim. So I have a lot of them. Let's start off with this one. This one, I think I have to donate, but it is the most gorgeous trench coat. I don't want to part with it, but living in California, it's not really practical because it's very heavy. Oh, but it is just so stunning. It is really high quality. I darned some holes on the outer parts and then I even got a dry cleaned. I wore it like three times, but I haven't worn it since just because I really don't have an occasion to wear this. Oh, and the brand of the trench coat is Sanyo, which is a Japanese brand. And then the liner is made by Mark Shale. This one is a Zara coat that I got from ThreadUp, I think. And it's actually really nice. It's made out of like almost 80% wool. Just the cut and quality of it is much better than what you would find now. This next one is a long line bomber I got from Irene's story. And I've worn it so much that I can't read the actual brand label. I literally wear this all the time. I've had it since the last time like bomber jackets were trendy, which is probably like five, six years ago and now they're trendy again. So it's good that I kept it, but I've worn it literally every single winter um, since I got it. People compliment it all the time when I wear it. It's a definite keep and even when the bomber style jackets start going out of trend again, I'm gonna be wearing it. Next jacket is super cool, but I don't know if it's like too cool for me. I got this from Depop. The seller is Anne Mark. I didn't realize that the shoulders would be that intense as well. Like these are some thick 80s shoulders. I'm still debating on this. I think I'm gonna have to do like a styling items that 
I'm not sure about video or something. And next is a little blazer jacket I got from uh, H&M. I'm not really a blazer person because I feel like they look too formal on me. But I like this one because the material is very like fluid. And I also got it on sale so it was only 30 bucks which is not too bad. We have a denim jacket. Uh, it's from the brand Mod Ref. This is a good light jacket for like late spring, early summer. We'll see when that season passes if I've worn it or not. I also have this very classic denim jacket I got from Sabres a while back. I'm gonna keep it. This is a puffer liner jacket from Uniqlo. Very practical piece to keep. This next cardigan I got from Depop. It's my favorite outerwear piece. It is like a knitted stripe cardigan and it has toggle buttons which I love. There's like no tags on this at all but I feel like it's from like a Korean website. It just gives me that vibe. This next one is the only Forever 21 piece I've bought in like the past 10 years probably and it is this quilted white very soft cotton jacket. This one is super cozy and nice um, but you can definitely tell it's like Forever 21 quality when you look up close because some of the stitching for the quilting fell out. As it doesn't really affect the wear of it, I'm still going to keep it and wear it until it dies. This next cardigan is from the brand Donnie. I got it on 50% off their sale, so it was still expensive. It was like $100 or so, but I wear this a lot and I really like it. It's very cozy. Keeping this. Next is a basic like olive green bomber. I like how it has the orange liner. I wear this all the time. It's from the brand Mod Ref. This next blazer I got from Salvation Army. It's a men's blazer. I'm not a blazer person, like especially more formal, like fitted blazers. So I think I'm gonna re-donate this or maybe sell it. I have a lot more jackets. Okay. This video is starting to get really long, so I'm just gonna do briefly this one. Got from a sample sale. I don't wear it, so I'm gonna donate this one. This one is another bomber. It's a more like spring version because it's very lightweight. I'm keeping this one for the summer. Another cropped denim jacket. This one is in a lighter wash and it has some distressing on the bottom from the brand Pole. Keeping this one, got it from a boutique. This one I wear like literally all the time at home. It's super cozy and warm. I wore it so much that I can't read the tag anymore. This one is a recent pickup from Zara. This one I just loved and it was on sale. This is another denim jacket. This is from the brand No Less Than and I'm keeping it. It's vintage from the Etsy seller Dad's Jacket and it's by the brand Bay Hills Classic, kind of like a utility jacket, I guess. I'm keeping it for the summer. This is like little white zip up hoodie from Old Navy that I got second hand. Keeping it to walk my dog. Next one is a cropped little um, leather jacket. It's from Yes Style, so I'm keeping that. This next piece is probably the most expensive thing I have in my wardrobe. I got it with a gift card, so that helped out a little bit. It's from the brand All Saints. It's a moto leather jacket. Jackets have a special place in my heart, and I do wear these like all the time. We're just gonna quickly go through skirts because I only have two. There's this tweed one. I use this for styling a lot. And then I have this long slip skirt from Current Air. I'm keeping it for now. Now let's move on to pants. These are pants from Everlane. Keeping that. This one is a pair of straight leg jeans with a button fly and a raw hem on the end. It kind of gives me vintage vibes, so I'm gonna keep these ones. This next pair is something I got from Express. For me though, this is just too high-waisted, but it's still in good condition, so this will be going to donate. Next one is this really cool pair of bleach denim that I got secondhand, and the brand is Adika. This is just a little bit too small for me, so I always feel uncomfortable when I wear it. I think it's time to let them go. Next is this pair of plaid flares from a boutique, and the name is Mustard Seed. Oh, once I fix it, I should be able to wear it more often. Next are some orange tab Levi's. I got this at the Goodwill Goods like a long time ago. It's a 505, and it has that little orange tab. Next is a pair of um, straight leg jeans from Topshop, originally from Nordstrom. I I just kept these for so long because they are like the most comfortable pair of jeans ever. They're in the Moto style at a size 28, but now they are a little bit too tight for me and I think it's time to let them go. 
This one is a pair of jeans from Cotton I got it at the same time when I bought that pink button down. And I love this. This is technically from the men's section and it's in a size 30. So I have to wear a, a belt with it. It has a very like loose, casual fit. Next is my all-time favorite pair of jeans. They're Calvin Klein Perfect Straight Leg Fit. They are a men's 31. Yeah, it has super deep pockets, which I love. And the color is gorgeous. I love it so much. Very nice pair of denim. Next is something I also got from Uptown Cheapskate. It's by the brand Urban Revival. I am keeping it. It is a pair of like stretchy high-rise flares and it has a little bit of a split on the side. This is my second favorite. First or second favorite pair of denim. It's from the brand River Island. It's kind of more fitted at the top waist area high-rise and it has balloon legs, which I like. Let's go through some of the other pants that I have. This is a pair of just basic black slacks I got as a hand-me-down um, from Zara. They're a little bit big, but um, I think I should just keep them because you never know when you need black slacks. Next is some very wide leg trousers I got secondhand, uh, originally from Uniqlo. I love this. I style this a lot in um, my pictures for my shop. Love these a lot. These are pants I wear legitimately all the time. They are from H&M. I got them on sale and it has like the strawstring waistband, which is actually on the side instead of the front and it has a more textured material. These are a pair of high-rise trousers from Abercrombie and Fitch. It has a double pleat. It kind of mimics the look of the Aritzia effortless pants, which are very trendy. Next one are these pinstripe pants. They're from the brand Le Suit. I really love these. Very cute, long, and drapey. And this pants I got from the brand Ame Official. So they're a small business, but it is these metallic pants. I actually found them through Pinterest and I bought them, but they are a tiny bit too tight and I just don't wear them very often. So I think I will be selling this on my Depop. I literally haven't worn them once because it's just not practical for my lifestyle. Next are some pants from Everlane, these are their dream pants. Very comfortable, wear all the time. Last one is uh, unexpected, but I was at um, downtown Disney with my friends and then the waiter spilled water on my pants, so I had to go buy some new pants. And this is what I got from one of the Disney shops. It's, I'm gonna sell these because it's not really my style. I just got it because I needed to and they were cozy. We're gonna do a lightning round with sweaters. Vintage from a boutique I will be keeping. Got this for a Waldo costume, thrifted, I will be donating. Got it as a present uh, recently, so leaning towards donating. Yeah, the color just not me. I'm going to sell that one. This one is thrifted, love it, keeping. I got from a sample sale, keeping. Basic black sweater from H&M, keeping. Hand-me-down crop sweater from Zara, keeping. Fake Ghani sweater from <laughs> Koreatown. Got as a present, keeping. Very lightweight sweater I got five years ago from Forever 21, keeping. I am keeping. Keeping, 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 keeping. A souvenir from Paso Robles, keeping. Airy oversized sweater, very comfortable, cozy, keeping. This, this pile on the front, is what I am getting rid of or donating or selling. These are all the hangers that used to have clothes on them. So that is it for today's video. I think I'll do another video where I declutter my accessories and shoes and stuff like that because that would make this video too long if I included it in here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.